Hey, I see you're living soft life, man. Look how she looks. Uh, even your skin is like shining and glowing. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh... That's a Kenyan kid. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? This is Marwa. I'm coming live from Mexico, a place called Playa del Camel. And today I have a very special, special guest. Actually, I want her to introduce herself. And even how we met was just so funny. <laughs> and today we're just talking some Swahili here. You know, it's very rare for me to get out of Africa and get people who I can speak with in my native language of Swahili. For those people who don't really know much about me, let's say you're a new subscriber here. My name is Marwa, I'm from Kenya travel blogger and uh, I speak Swahili, English, Spanish and today we have another speaker right here in Mexico. This is a big surprise. Hey, what's your name girl? Hi, I'm Mamu. Mamu. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, Mamu yes. Bail. Mamu Bail. Yeah. Yes. I want to put your Instagram after this maybe in the link. Yeah. Yes. Mamu Bail. Mamu Bail. You know, yesterday when you told me your name is Mamu, I remembered there's a song called Mamu. Oh yeah, you. I remember you. Yeah, that's like, oh, the. You know when you, you said. You call Mamu. Oh, yeah, there's. Do you know this song, song called Mamu. The Mamu? I'm like. And yeah. as, as a little tipsy, you know, here and there in the club, but I was so surprised to find a Kenyan. Hey, were you surprised to find me here? Yeah, I was. A little bit. Like I've never met a Kenyan here. I've been yes. here for like two years and I've never wow. met any Kenyan wow. in a club, in a random club. Yeah, in a random at club. night of dancing, and then you're like, hey. <laughs> That's me, random, my friend. I always go random all the time. And it's a funny thing because I've been yeah. watching your videos and uh, I know you know my friend Miss Trudy and oh. all that. So. It's so you've just, been you've been watching my videos before. Yeah. But when I met you, you didn't know anything about me, yes? No, I, you, I was, okay. I was you you knew the YouTuber and, <laughs> and and but you didn't know like oh this is that guy. Yeah, like but I'm not into YouTube that much. Oh, okay. But, um, I knew I, when you told me oh I'm Marwa. Yeah. Like, oh I think I know you from somewhere because I texted you in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah, I think I, I know, know you. you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm like oh now I know this guy. Before we go to sleep, I was like let me check out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I totally know you. <laughs> oh, bro. So this is Maro here in Playa del Carmel. Today I'm having a uh, Mamu and uh, let me interview you. You've been living in Mexico for two years. Yeah, it's uh, almost two years now. I think it will be two years in March. Why, why Mexico? Well, so I was traveling. Yeah. I like traveling. <laughs> yeah. So I was just doing one of my countries uh -huh. traveling and then yeah. I decided Mexico. Actually, I'm married. Oh, you married here? Yeah, so... Yeah. No, I'm married in Kenya, but... Oh, you got married in Kenya? Yeah, so me and my husband decided to come to... Mexico. Mexico for, yes. like, a tour. Yeah, Just like a tour. Weeks. Yes. And it was during pandemic and yes. COVID is happening crazy. Actually, when I was traveling... Yeah. The same, same day... Yeah. It's... It was like the first time where there was first case of COVID in Kenya. Oh. And I'm supposed to travel. So I'm oh, like, so you're oh. like... I was scared too. Oh. Like, I'm like, oh. Yeah, I, I, I remember those days when, when this C19 came out. It mm -hmm. was like, people are going to... It's like, we're going to fall down and just... I know, right? <laughs> but now people are just chilling, partying and be like, F this thing. Fuck this thing. Yeah, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Wow. So where is your husband from? Just a little privacy. He's but from Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. You met in Kenya? Yeah, we met in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We stayed for like, we dated for like two, six, three oh, years. Yeah. Then got married. You, you, wait, you dated like how many? Three years. Wow, so you've been with your husband for a long time now. Yeah, like five, six years. Wow, and you don't have kids? No. Yeah. I don't want kids. For those Kenyans who are watching this, we are going to be a baby. We are going to be a baby. Six years. Well, I'm going to be a baby in Africa. I'm going to be a baby in Africa. I'm going to be a baby in Africa. You know? Okay. So for those guys who do it, not really... Planning. Yeah, for those guys who don't understand what I just said, I just spoke some Swahili to my Kenyan audience saying, it's very rare for uh, a Kenyan man to marry a lady in Kenya and stay with her like for five, you said, or six years. Well, we didn't stay together. Oh, you didn't stay together? No. Yeah. He but you, was visiting. Yes. From, you know, you did this... Come, yeah, yes. They come, they go, they yeah. come, they go, and then you just decide, okay, this is too much. I just... Actually, I applied for Canadian visa and yeah. I, I was denied. Oh, so we damn, just said, no. Okay, let's just get married and then fuck this shit. So, so when you so, got married, what happened with your visa? Did they give you? Because yeah, I, I have a visa. I'm supposed to be 
in Canada right now yes. to check for my permanent residency. Oh wow! But I'm stuck here in Mexico. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you are married. You know, once you're married, yeah. things are like kinda easy. Yeah, I got my visa just recently, actually. Yeah. But um, I have a residence like a time limit to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you always yeah. have to stay at least six months in a country, mm. not outside of the country. Yeah. So, so I'm supposed to check in before August. No, you still have some time. You have yeah, half a year. Have, I still have time. Yes, please. If I was here, I was checking mid mid this year. You know, no, what once the weather. Summer? Yes, once yeah. the weather. Summer. Summer is from June, July. Yeah, May, June. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So, how do you find Mexico? You know, so far. How do you find Mexico? Yes, for it's you. It's just know. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like it's one of the best places I've come and Yeah. I just blended in yeah. quickly. You know, you're a black girl, and in the streets here, it's very rare to see a black girl. How does it I feel like? I see black girls. Um, yeah. But it's rare, you know. But I, not from Africa. Yeah. Mostly it's from US. The US. Yeah. So it's like, oh yeah. And seeing black people, it's really amazing. You see black people, and you never miss to say. Yeah, 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 and yeah. You yeah. Walk and, and you can see them from very far. Yeah, like, uh, hey, is I see you. Uh -huh. There's this thing we do, like, I see you. Oh. Hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So it's an amazing thing to walk on the streets and see black people. Let me change my position, guys, to be here so that because the sun is on the other side, so I could uh, maybe for you, you could sit on my chair. So sure. yes, sorry, sorry for this. I just I just want to to get the sun ele oh. elevated on your face so it's okay, it's so much that I better. Can look good. <laughs> you can shine to the camera. I think you guys also you have to give me some credits for just changing that position. Yeah. Yes. So Mamu, so you said you came to Mexico with your husband and you just loved it. Yeah. What Actually, is, we mm -hmm. stayed because of the COVID lockdown. Okay. Because we came. Yes. And then the lockdown. Yeah. And flight got cancelled uh -huh. so we were worried at the at first yeah so we were in cancun mm -hmm. and then we moved to playa uh -huh. so we moved here yeah Pla playa is the best I know, number right? one i love playa. yes i like to loom but loom is too expensive but yeah yeah i always want to come back to playa. to playa yeah playa has its own vibe and you know people don't really know playa until you arrive in cancun True. then people tell you there's a city here yeah. called playa you know <laughs> and playa is just it's in the just middle like, yeah in the middle uh -huh. so it's just and here you meet amazing people from yeah. different all over the world all over and the world you man just create a community like yeah. here yeah. i have a lot of friends like yeah we have friends right there you can see guys uh -huh. and i just you meet connect. all yeah we just connect like right now i have a friend from us uh, Netherlands, yeah, uh, Mexico. Uh, 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 like, yeah, I remember last night when we met in the club, she was like introducing me. This is my friend. Oh, this is my other friend. And this, I was like, okay, okay, girl, yeah. Kenyan girl, you know. Yeah. But you know, we we people from Africa most of the time we're very social, like social, yeah. very social. We mm -hmm. we don't, you know, actually, if you dealt with most white people, they're always alone. They don't even. Yeah, we are not mean. Yeah, for us we are not. We're we, nice. We've people. always chill vibe. We is like, like to like get together. And yeah, have nice. a good time. Yeah. You know. Are you having a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from whatever. So actually, just because you asked that, where are you from? Where are you from in Kenya? Maybe somebody's watching this. Which side of Kenya are you from? Nairobi. You born like Nairobi, Nairobi. Born and raised in Nairobi, but I've lived in Ushago for. You, for where is your Ushago? Mm, Vihiga. Vihiga. Yeah. Uh, I was actually in Vihiga a few, a few uh, last year September. Yeah. I was in Vihiga. I cruised the entire western province, you know, Kakamega Where up to from? Kitale. Me, I'm from the the border of Kenya and Tanzania. It's mm -hmm. like isolated place called Isibania. Isibania. Yes, it's Kuria. Oh, it's like saw, Migori, Isibania. I saw that on your sister's vlog. Yes, we actually like from when she was building a house or something. Yes, we are the border of Kenya and Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So people actually even don't know even who could. Sometimes people think I'm Tanzanian mm -hmm. just because uh, my where I'm from, many people speak language similar to Tanzanian because you have more influence from Tanzania than. So my community, which is Korea, is bigger in Tanzania in millions. Oh, you're a Korea. Yes, oh. and and uh, and uh, and in Kenya we are just a small pack. Mm -hmm. So even me, I can still fit in Tanzania. I speak the language. I look like one of them. Yeah, my you grandmother. Look, you actually look like Tanzania. I look like I a Tanzanian. <laughs> <laughs> she says I look like the diamond vibe. The diamond vibe. No, I'm just a lost lion here from Africa. You know. <laughs> a lost lion. Yeah, that's how it's a stray. You're totally not lost. <laughs> you know where you're going. You know what you're doing. Uh -huh. You're fine. So, uh, so uh, how how was your first experience traveling uh, out of Africa? You know, like. This is actually a conversation. We didn't write oh, any yeah. questions. 
So my first experience. Yeah, out of Africa. Out of Africa, I went. Is Dubai Africa now? Mm -hmm. I went to Dubai. Yeah. Alone. Yeah, alone. Yeah, hey, I girl. Travel, I was you are like, a dad. I lost there. my job. Yeah. And um, my husband, who was my boyfriend, then, yeah, he was like, oh. You're stressful. You should travel somewhere and mm -hmm. just get rid of all the, the bad stress. energy. Yeah, bad energy. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, okay, yeah, and which is the easiest place to go without applying for visa and having the stress? Oh, yeah. Dubai. We don't need visa for Dubai. No, you just need to buy. You need a visa, but you just pay for it, and it's okay. Online. Yeah. Oh wow. How do they call it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. E-visa. Even India, it's the same. Yeah, so it's easier to have e-visa. Yeah, so you just... Soft life. Yeah, you buy it. So we were thinking of going to India, actually. Mm -hmm. But something happened. Yeah. So we cancelled and then I went to Dubai. Yeah. I travelled there for like 10 days yeah. alone. But mm -hmm. I had friends there. So, oh. you know, Kenyans are... Yes, Dubai, all over, like, yes. Crazy. At the airport, even if you arrive at the airport, there are yeah. fast people. So you, you hear them speaking yeah. Swahili, you'll be mm -hmm. like, what? So we travel. I traveled to Dubai alone. I had a good time, and then I had to cut my trip short. Yeah. I lost my sister-in-law, so I had to go oh. back to Kenya. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Yeah. So that was my first time traveling out of Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. And did you have problems with immigration or something like that? No. It was just pretty it was smooth. Okay. I've never had any problem with immigration. Okay. When I'm traveling. Maybe it's because you're a cute girl. Maybe they say, well, oh, it's this. Not about that. Yeah. It's just about having papers together and having a good energy at the same time. Oh yeah, 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 you yeah. Just yeah. go. You know where you're going. Yes. You just say the things the way they're supposed to be. How many yeah. days are you staying here? Mm -hmm. Don't say. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe two. Don't mm. say those. Be ready to answer. Um, how many days are you staying here? Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, where's your flight out? Where's your hotel? Where's your hotel? This. Uh, Carrera. Di, di, di. Yeah. Okay. You have to know everything. Boom, they stamp it in. Welcome to Dubai. Welcome to Mexico. Uh -huh. So I travel alone actually from Kenya to here, Mexico. Oh. Mm -hmm. How did you arrive in Mexico actually? That, that's that's <laughs> not another question. I took a flight yeah. from Kenya to Frankfurt. Oh, yeah. Frank, it's yeah. called Frank, Frank something in, in uh, Germany or... Yeah, uh -huh. Germany. Yeah. And then from there to here. Okay, because you couldn't pass through the, the U.S. No, sometimes it's sometimes it's hard. Yes, no, the U.S. I had you a need. Choice, but I, I didn't want to go. No, to you know. Australia. Yes, because the thing is, in the U.S., even if you are passing over yeah. their space, you, have through, you need a visa. Migration and yes, over. yes, so yes, I, yes. I was like, okay. Let me see another way to mm -hmm. go home. Yeah, I mean to go to Mexico. Actually, I applied for Mexico visa. Yeah. The first time. Yeah. They didn't I didn't get it. Yeah. So I did it the second time. Mm -hmm. And this time I got it. And I was like, yeah. And what did they ask you? Uh, the what did like they ask you? Yeah. Like Actually, what, people, people have been, you know, people, now that you're in Mexico, many people will say, the way you've just said the plaza is so nice. Mm -hmm. Many people watching this video, they want to come. I've been trying to get my cousins here. Yeah. I've been trying to get people to come visit. Yeah. They're, they're like, oh, it's far. Or we need money. Yeah, yeah, Things yeah. Like that. So, yeah. But people who come, mm -hmm. I've seen some friends coming here. Yeah. yeah so like, what, what did, did they ask you? You know, actually, Mexican visa for me, uh, the last time I had it was like five years ago. Now I have a US visa. With the US visa, you can actually enter Mexico. So I don't need to apply for visas anymore. Oh, yeah? You know, with the US visa. Oh, you with can, the US visa, you can? You can come here. You can go to Costa Rica. You can go to Panama. Panama, we don't need visas as Kenyans. But with the US visa, you can still go into the country. You can go to Dominican Republic. Nice. You can go to this country next year called Belize. It's like uh, 11 hours by bus. Yes. At, yeah. So I think I need a US visa. So yeah, you really need a US yeah. visa. It will boost a lot. And I think I will apply it here so that it can be. Yeah, you should apply it here. And I think even the best way to apply it is mm -hmm. to speak to your husband mm -hmm. and you plan a trip together. Mm -hmm. So you just say I'm married and me and my husband we're going to and yeah. you have it has to be like okay. Maybe that's <laughs> off the video. Yeah, it it really <laughs> yes. helps actually. Yes, it really, it really helps. helps. Yeah. Like, so now you're traveling with a Kenyan passport or Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I still haven't yeah. had uh, problems. Visa. No. Yeah, but how many countries have you been to? Not that much. I've yeah. been to. No, I mean out of Africa. Out of Africa. Yeah. Just two. Okay. Two Dubai and Mexico. Mm -hmm. Oh, you good. You be. Yeah. You be okay. But yeah, I'm, but I'm, Kenyan passport in in the Americas is not so good. You can only go to Panama. 
Mm-hmm. Panama, you can go today with no problem. Yeah, Panama, I can go. Yes, yes. I don't, need, I don't need a visa. Visa, to yeah. Go to and that's the only country in 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 the Americas. When I say Americas, North, mm-hmm. uh, Central, and South. And Brazil. Too. No, no like we need Jamaica. Yeah, no, Jamaica is in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, you have too many options. You can go to Bahamas, Barbados. Mm-hmm. I've been there before. Mm-hmm. Yes. Me, those places where you don't, we don't need visa, uh, I've already been there. Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, because I was like, man, imagine how other people travel around the world, like a Japanese passport. Yeah. Only two countries you need visa. The rest you can go. Oh, nice. Japanese passport. <laughs> yes, imagine. <laughs> But I also have a uh, Mexican residency now. Oh, you have a Mexican residence? Mm-hmm. Wow. You're gonna t- I'm you're smart. Gonna, you're going to tell me about that. <laughs> with the residence, I think now you can go to to South America yeah. with that residence, yes. Well, Ask and see. Yes. With the residence, you can go to countries around here. You can go to Central America. Oh, wow. Actually, when I was thinking of getting a residence here because it can help me travel more. I think, yeah. You, should. you know, yes. And it's not that hard to get yes. here. You know, Mexico is like Kenya. You can get anything. Yeah. Like. Just say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey. so, so let's talk about other things. <laughs> you know, there are many people watching you this. Maybe they say, man, uh, especially for young girls in Kenya, saying, mimi bana connect na mzungu moja uko maju. You know? Only Kenyans will understand this, or <laughs> Tanzanians. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is maybe some young girl is watching her from Kenya saying, hey, why can't you connect me with some girl, from, no, some guy, or even boys, they also want either way. With What advice do you have, you know? To connect with the Mzungu or something? You know, some people will watch this and say, hey, even me, I need a Mzungu, my life can be like that girl I saw on Mara's know, video, right? you know? <laughs> But it's just a, a lot of luck. Yes, know? luck and destiny. Yeah, you, you meet someone, you fall in love, and that's boom. It. Go to a, go to nice places. And yeah, hang out. Yeah, don't just be sitting there and waiting for something. Y- yes, exactly. Go there, go out there. You meet when you want. People yes, out there when you go out. Yes. So that's the easiest way to find someone. Yeah, and up with someone is yeah. not. That hard, you yes, know. exactly. You look nice, dress nice, smell mm-hmm. good, go mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. like we met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We met last night yeah. like this. I was like, Hey, girl, where are you from? She's like, Kenya. I said, I'm from Kenya. She said, No way. I, thought, I started speaking Swahili. Mimi, I'm Kenya. I'm Kenyan. And she's like, Okay, now I believe you're Kenyan, you know. Yes, yeah, you know. So. I was like, I was so excited seeing you here. I'm like, yes. I've, yeah, I've me. Never met I've, I've been here like 15 times, you know, mm-hmm. because of my US visa. Yeah, I'm, I was I'm, 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 I'm like taking advantage of it, mm-hmm. you know. It's but good it's good to take advantage of yeah. good things that you. Yes, you know. Good. Yes, mm-hmm. because that's where maybe you, you're gonna get more in yeah. your life, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's expiring next year, you know. My visa is expiring next year, September. But you've, you've, you've I've made, used it. You've made good use of it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So that's the good thing. Yeah. So that's even one thing I always say. No matter the outcome in, mm-hmm. in the future, mm-hmm. I'll, my conscience will be okay. Yeah. I don't want to be the guy who got a US visa and just went to America one day and came out. And even America, mm-hmm. I've been to like lots of places. Talk about Las Vegas, talk about Miami, talk about... I don't know Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Uh, all, all nice. I wanna, I wanna be you when I grow up. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah. My Start brother. filming your journey on YouTube and post it there. Yeah. You know, you, you're a nice girl. You look really. I can't say beautiful now because you're married. Yeah, I'm, tr- I'm trying when to regulate that. Nice, it's, it's nice. nice. <laughs> right? That's a Kenyan mentality. Eh? <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Yes, it, it's not written on my face that I'm married or something. Oh, uh-huh. but, wow. And uh, just general, mm-hmm. what's your relationship with your husband? Is it like chill, nice, or sometimes you feel like, hey, Dating interracial is very difficult. I've always dated inter- interracial. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people t- tell me, you don't, Mara, you don't like black girls. That's one of my biggest... <laughs> hey, tell them when you're out here. You want to date other different <laughs> people. Because you're like, man, I just you, came from Africa. And, yeah, you want to learn different cultures. Yeah. You want to, enjoy, to explore your mind. Yeah, you and know. Not just be in the same... Same, same system, you yeah. know. But Especially if for... that's what you got, then it's okay for you. You know, me it's people okay. have problems. They say I don't like black girls. No. That's all they always say. But that's not true. It's just... It, it is what it is. Yes, imagine. Maybe black girls don't like you. No, no, no. Maybe yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, you see, the idea is uh, people want to see me with a black girl, not a white girl. And that's Why? the problem. I don't... That's because I'm an influencer, you know, or something like that. And maybe in my dating history, they have not seen a black girl running there. And me, I'm like... When I was in my primary school, I always had girls, black girls when I went to 
high school, mm -hmm. but I went to university. And now I'm in Mexico, people still want me to date a black girl. And here it's rare to find them. You oh, find so you what? Want to taste good food. When you go to Mexico, you yeah, want to taste something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, Ex want to, you don't want to eat ugali in Mexico. Exactly. So you, you eat uh, tacos man, and stuff like that. Please give this video a like because this girl <laughs> speaks my language. Yeah, like she knows. And you can imagine also, you know, when you're in Kenya, sometimes uh, people really kind of want to explore, but even they don't have they don't have that uh, opportunity. You know, you go to a club and see some females white females let's say for a boy or mm -hmm. white guys and you'll be like i think she's beautiful but you know you have no chance yeah and you come out here they're everywhere and mm -hmm. people still tell you mara go back home and find you people know. here they find us exotic really exotic you know <laughs> really and and that's not actually trying to sexualize this because people say oh, it's like no. no it's just it is we're it trying is. to say <laughs> when you go to an when you're in rome do what the romans do exactly you know yes and if people here likes you more then that is it you, you vibe know with it. yes you vibe with it you just slow with it mm -hmm. and also at the same time you you learn a lot from them you know exactly. you know you learn a lot you come to understand oh you know even there are many questions when you're a kid you used to ask yourself about dating interracial or like, right. traveling mm -hmm. and now you're right there you you now understand yeah. for example many people believe like maybe the white people have a lot of money but you come to realize they have problems like us they have nothing they have nothing i'm <laughs> telling you and even you come to realize sometimes they stay in their age like maybe they have to do something to get mm -hmm. this money they have mm -hmm. to do this, this, this. so you come to realize oh it's not and also even like being outside here People think, you know, when you're out here, money is everywhere, collecting, collecting. Expenses are really high you, here. Yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. Yeah. Living in Kenya is cheap, actually. Yes. Paying rent here, it's like me buying a house. Imagine in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. True story. Or if land. Or land. land. Like yes. Land. Like five, yeah. Five months. I'm Huge land. Yeah. But here, really expensive rent. So yeah. It, it is what it is. Like, I yeah. don't know. There's no money, whatever. It, it's just you. Yeah, it's How just you, exactly, you your, it? exactly your vibe. So, hey, you have some questions for me? Because I want to, I don't know. This is more of a conversation than an interview, you yeah. know? <laughs> I like it that way. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and me, I like, I like such natural stuff. Okay. And also, my sister called me today. She's, she had problems in, yeah. in the airport. She was flying to a country, which I don't, mention, I don't want to mention. But the air, airline said they will not let her board the flight, so it's kind of stressing me inside. So that's the only thing that yeah. I feel. I feel like there's something wrong. Yeah. I, I hate that feeling, you know. Uh -huh. I always avoid it by all means, and one of the means is to be always honest to myself and the people I meet. Mm -hmm. So I'm always like my conscious is free. I can sleep good. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what advice do you have, let's say? For somebody looking like, uh, you know, you're from Kenya, mm -hmm. but let's say an African girl or boy trying to come, Maju, trying to go abroad, mm -hmm. you know, well, because you, you've been possible. here. Yes. That, nothing is impossible. Right? Nothing is impossible, yes. Yes. So you just need to try and I've been there, try mm -hmm. to apply for visas. Yeah. Being cancelled, try again. Yes. Like keep trying. Yeah. Like when they, it's, it's no first time, it doesn't mean it's, it's the be last, no yes. the next time. Yeah. So keep trying and if you don't lose hope keep exactly keep, exa keep, like, ex uh, keep doing what you want to do yes follow go it. it go for it go for it it, it may not be today no. or tomorrow but surely it's gonna happen it's, it's gonna happen yes like when i applied for passport you know kenya we don't apply for passport yes just easily yeah when i applied for passport i didn't know if i'm gonna travel or not I oh just applied oh for you see that's the thing i always tell people have those documents around you yeah. you don't you know you never know yes <laughs> some people are saying mara i want to travel and even having a passport in their home it, they don't they're like ah uh, why should oh, i apply uh, for passport exactly. and i'm not going anywhere, anywhere. i have no I'm plans like, just apply for it have tell it. my cousin yes. do that apply for it have you have never it. know that's when maybe you're opening things will, your things will yes you know, you know? You're like, i see you believe in energies like me like yeah, like good energy, good energy good thinking vibes, good yeah. And, and seeing yourself like, you know, it mm -hmm. cannot be having that hope always, which is very constant, exactly. you know. People always ask me, Mara, I want to be like you, like the, just, just the way you say it. Mm -hmm. And me, those are the things that keep me going. Mm -hmm. I'm always very hopeful. They motivate you. Yes, sometimes I get deported, but I'm like, it's a matter of time. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah, like you know? when you're talking to your sister. To yeah, you. yeah, even I told her, just chill. There's a reason why this yeah. is happening. Everything yes. happened for, for a good reason. Yeah. And always is a good reason. Exactly. You know, let me just give you my small story i know it's not my day it's your day it's okay one time it's i was our day <laughs> yes one day i was denied visa in in colombia mm -hmm. so i felt really bad mm -hmm. really bad so i left somehow i got a visa to come to mexico somehow legally you know mm -hmm. 
Then when I came to Mexico, I got my US visa. Mm. Then with the US visa, I'm able to come to Mexico. I'm going to. So I'm like, wow. So if Colombia did deny, didn't deny me that visa, yeah, I'll not be here traveling in Mexico. I'll be like spending a lot of money on visas <laughs> and stuff. You understand exactly. that story? Yeah. And it happened in in a span of three months. Everything being okay. denied visa uh -huh. to getting an American visa in in a span of three months. That's amazing. Quick. Like, you like know? getting a, an American visa is not easy. Yeah, but you can imagine like being denied a visa in a country which you, you it know. Hurts. It, yeah. It, they deny you a visa, it hurts. Yeah. It hurts, but it doesn't have to bring you down. Yeah, it doesn't have. Yeah, yeah it Just does. Just keep trying. <laughs> don't, try another country. If hey. they don't allow you in Mexico, yes. try Colombia. If they That's don't allow you Colombia, Go the next try one. To, we have 190, yeah. 197 countries in the world, you and know. And try to tra travel, to travel around uh, Africa. Uh, yeah. Let people see that that yeah. passport has stamps so here and there. you can have travel Experience, history. yes, you it's know. Really, it's really good to have travel history. So yes. even if you're traveling just around Africa. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Hey, I see you're living soft life, man. Look how she soft looks. Uh, even your skin is like shining and glowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Kenyan king. <laughs> <laughs> Let me Kenyan. see. Hey. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Hey, one more, one more thing before mm -hmm. we leave. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell an audience, general? It doesn't have to be about you. Just a general thing you've learned uh, in life. You know, something you've learned about life. You know, life? So, like some secret. You know. Life you know? Is easy as you take it if you yes. make it hard then it's gonna be hard if it's take it easy live by the day i don't stress, too stress much. myself too much about things that i don't know like i don't worry too much about tomorrow yes and i don't worry about my past yeah exactly because it's is gone it's gone i have now i'm and gonna live now i'm gonna have fun and i'm just gonna enjoy myself yes and be happy be kind yeah kill them with kindness <laughs> if, if your mom is watching this or your brother, hey, send a message. Actually, you may be surprised. Hey, <laughs> or, or your bestie, your bestie girl. You know, there's that girl who you left to was your, your girl who sometimes say, hey, do you think this handbag is okay to buy? Yeah, yeah. give that girl a shout out too. Hey, uh, Gloria, mm -hmm. um, my cousin Yvonne, my cousin Lisa, yeah. my mom. If you're watching my this. My brothers, my yes. sisters, I love you all. And I miss you so much. Please. Yes watch subscribe to his channel he's really cool guy hey guys i want to say goodbye actually what she that she just did is her local way of greetings you know in the radio they tell you tuma ujumbe tuma ujumbe <laughs> <laughs> nah, ujumbo nah, shafika <laughs> okay all right guys i'm gonna yes and as i end this video i want to dedicate it to my young sister sister you'll be okay it's a matter of time goodbye yeah. guys and i'll see you in my next one say kwaheri bye bye all i need is you Baby, baby Over. How much do I need to party here in Jamaica? So what's up guys? This is Mara coming live from New York City. We are in Hawaii. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? I'm heading to.